Welcome everyone to another episode of Retro Wrestling Reviews. Fredo Esparza here and this week we look back at Mid-South Wrestling's January 14th, 1982 episode. We skip ahead a few weeks as there was a year-end review show for the 12-30-1981 episode and there was no video for the following week. This episode was taped on January 6th, 1982 at the Irish McNeil Boys Club in Shreveport, Louisiana. Boyd Pierce and Cowboy Bill Watts are on commentary. The very first match is Brian Blair beating the Monk with an abdominal stretch that he falls back onto the mat to get the pin on the Monk. Um, Blair controlled most of the match despite it being somewhat competitive. Monk got in a a little bit of offense. Uh, Seemed like the Monk got most of his stuff in trying to get out of moves by Blair. Um, Blair looked very good in the match. Um, It was kept relatively short but it was a it was an entertaining competitive match to start the show with um, that was then bought, followed by the dream match as we got Andre the Giant teaming up with Dusty Rhodes and the Junkyard Dog as they beat the Big Cat Ernie Ladd and the Wild Samoans Afa and Sika after Andre hit a middle rope splash on Ladd for the pin this was an entertaining match crowd was very lively for it as well there was some build-up to Ladd going up against Andre the Giant, which was something the fans wanted to see. Heels kept double and triple teaming Andre the, the Giant whenever he was in the match. The babyface trio is very much a dream team. Um, I thought this was a good match. Somewhat short due to it being a TV match, but it was still very fun. Um, and we end up getting more out of these uh, out of everybody in this match, minus Andre later on the show. Um, that was then followed by Mr. Olympia beating Frank Sabata. With a sleeper hold, this was an okay match with a lot of repetition and moves from Mr. Olympia. Um, He did look great, um, but was very repetitive in the match. Um, Very short match that followed. Um, That was then followed by another short match as Ed Wiskowski, who later became Colonel De Beers, would beat Tommy Wright after a backbreaker across his knee for the pin. Um, Bill Watts, during this match, leaves commentary uh, because he had to travel to Dallas, Texas. That was probably the highlight of the match. Uh, Wiskowski dominated most of a rather short match. That was then followed by Dick Murdoch beating Bob Roop via DQ due to Paul Orndorff's interference. I thought this was the best match on the show. This was a special challenge match as Bob Roop threw out the challenge and Murdoch a- accepted. Very competitive with both going back and forth in the action. Murdoch looked like he got the better of Roop late in the match as he got him with a big punch and was setting him up for the brain buster. Orndorff showed up ringside and tripped up Captain Redneck. Murdoch then fought off both Roop and Orndorff until DiBiase ran in and helped even up the sides. After that match, Ernie Ladd shows up and tells Boyd Pierce that that he and the Wild Samoans were robbed. He tells Pierce that the Samoans are in the ring because they want to hurt someone and he vows that they'll hurt everyone until they get the junkyard dog. The Samoans end up beating Frank Monty and Jesse Barr after a Samoan drop by Sika on Barr. Um, this match was initially going to be Rick Ferrara and Jerry Novak versus Monty and Barr but Ladd had the Samoans replace Ferrara and Novak. Short match with the Samoans destroying their opponents and of course getting the win afterwards. Um, That was then followed by Mike George beating Bob Orton Jr. via DQ when the Samoans ran out again and attacked Mike George. George was about to pin Orton after an atomic drop, but the Samoans attacked him. Ladd joined them in the attack until Junkyard Dog and Dusty Rhodes ran out to make the save. Um, The show ends up closing with Dusty Rhodes doing an interview about how he and JYD are friends and warns Ladd and the Samoans that if they want to jump JYD, he'll be there to fight them. This was a good episode of Mid-South Wrestling. Again, best match on the card was Bob Roop versus Dick Murdoch. And that continued the rivalry between Ro- Roop, Bob Roop and Orndorff against Ted DiBiase. You also had the continuation of JYD's feud with Ladd and the Samoans with the Dream Match. And later their attack on Mike George as Mike George was JYD's tag team partner at that point in time. And the Samoans were going to attack anyone that had any involvement with JYD. And of course, Mike George being his partner was the victim this week of a Samoans attack. Um, fun episode. I thought, um, I thought it was, um, you know, there was a lot of short matches, but you basically had two storylines continuing to be built up 
with the Samoans and JYD and Ted DiBiase's feud with Bob Roop and, and Paul Orndorff. And of course, you had a lot of, um, you had some good interviews with Ernie Ladd and Dusty Rhodes. So that really helped the show overall. Um, fun episode. Highly recommend watching this one. Be sure to subscribe to the Retro Wrestling YouTube channel where we'll have more wrestling show reviews as well as the Lucha World podcast and other content available. Also, be sure to visit the website RetroWrestling.com for classic wrestling reviews. And for Lucha, visit my website LuchaWorld.com. For added content, you could check us out on Patreon at Patreon.com slash LuchaWorld. Thanks again, everyone, and talk to you all soon.